Today on Discover Wisconsin, we're back working on the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. I mean, we got some ground to cover here, Eric. But it's not all work. That is so much fun. We'll even meet some people who've hiked the entire 1,000 miles. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Just over three years ago, Discover Wisconsin set out to bring you the entire Ice Age National Scenic Trail right into your living room. Now along the way, we may have cheated a bit by driving from section to section, but we have seen some awesome places around our state. Well today, our thousand mile adventure comes to a head at the eastern terminus in Door County. But don't go anywhere, there's still a ton of great stuff to see, starting right here at Lapham Peak in Delafield. As the Ice Age National Scenic Trail winds 1,000 miles through Wisconsin, it's divided into segments. Our journey today will start in the Lapham Peak segment in Delafield and continue through Washington County, Sheboygan County, and the trail's eastern terminus in Door County's Potawatomi State Park. Zooming into Waukesha County, we'll discover 40 miles of trail. Today, we have time to cover a section that travels to and through the city of Delafield. Lapham Peak is part of the Kettle Moraine State Forest. Arguably, it has some of the finest cross-country ski trails in the state. Now, what makes it so good? Well, how about the fact that they make their own snow on about 1.7 kilometers of trail, and they have lighted trails to make it easier to get out and ski after a busy day. But let's turn our attention to the Ice Age Trail and how this park welcomes visitors. Well, the Lapham Peak unit is a 1,000 acre day use only property. The majority of the visitors that we have uh, are tend, to, tend to be involved in the hiking or um, you know, nature observation. We've also got a 45 foot observation tower where um, folks can uh, take advantage of panoramic views of southeastern Wisconsin. Now, we meet a lot of interesting people as we discover Wisconsin. It is a gorgeous day. I know, right? So a lot of people in Wisconsin have hiked portions of the Ice Age Trail here or there, but you've done something quite extraordinary. What's this again? Uh, I was lucky enough to get to walk the entire 1,000 plus miles of the Ice Age Trail. 1,000 miles of the Ice Age Trail? Yeah. So you've kind of seen it all, right? I have seen uh, the entire state of Wisconsin in a, under a, in a great venue. <laughs> that sounds really special. And you did it in sections? Yeah, I did it in sections. You know, uh, you're recognized as a 1,000 miler, uh, regardless of whether you through hike it, that would be backpack along the entire way uh, or if you do it in segments. The nice thing about segment hiking was that I got to see the Ice Age Trail at all four seasons. You know, so I snowshoed about 50 or 60 miles of the trail and you know, got to see it in this time of year. And I sometimes think there's 4,000 miles of Ice Age Trail if you can see it at all four seasons. Tell me, tell me some of your favorite places. Uh, one thing I've often said is it isn't always so much a place as a moment. It might be a sunrise or a deer or something like that, but right here at Lapham Peak has is, is got to be one of my favorites. I mean, we're right next to Delafield yeah, as well. Uh, uh, the, the trail continues from here as, as you're walking north. Uh, you go right through downtown Delafield, right on the streets. There's yellow blazes right on the, on the street posts. Well, whether you make your way to the city of Delafield by trail or just by car, there's going to be plenty of things to discover there. First, there's not enough time in this show to take you to all the great shops, restaurants, hotels, and businesses in and around Delafield, so you'll have to come see those things for yourself. Now, if you're planning your visit for July, their annual block party is more than just a neighborhood festival. And if you love festivals, this is the perfect time to visit Delafield. You see, you can also attend the Lake Country Art Festival on the same trip. The Lake Country Women's Club is a group that puts on this community event which encompasses over 140 artists, entertainment, a children's area, award-winning barbecue. So it's truly something for everybody at this event. Held within Nagawaki Park, the art festival may not be the only thing you want to pack for on your trip. With a beach and a lake, a swimsuit should definitely be required. And if you enjoy a day on the greens, bring the clubs. Transformed from 200 acres of the Kettle Moraine, Nagawaki War Memorial Golf Course is a breathtaking and challenging 18-hole course. Delafield is smack dab in the heart of lake country, and one of the most popular ways to enjoy the lakes around here? Sailing. 
The Nagawika Yacht Club was established in 1895, so they've been sailing these waters for a while. Whether during one of their numerous races or just enjoying a day on the water, you'll see plenty of sails dotting the landscape across the lakes. One final stop on our journey here takes us back to downtown Delafield. Just off the Ice Age Trail, you'll find another memorable trail dedicated to honoring those who served our country. The Wisconsin Veterans Memorial Riverwalk encapsulates nine separate war memorial sites along a beautiful three-quarter mile walk along the Bark River. Download a map of the walk or get ideas for even more to do downtown by first visiting discoverwisconsin.com and choosing Delafield as your destination. After this short break, we're getting back on the Ice Age Trail as it heads north through Washington County. Stay tuned. <laughs>